Hey, good morning, good morning everyone. Uh, so do you know what it is? So yeah, this is an iPhone, right? <laughs> so what can you do with your iPhone? Everything. Uh, you can make a phone call, or you can make a surf web, or you can play games, or you can take the pictures, etc. Right? So but do you know that we can use iPhone to measure the blood pressure? Yes, that's true. So this is the world's first blood pressure monitor based on iPhone or iPad or iPod. Yes, and it has just been introduced uh, in January 2011. So this technology is very useful for point of care diagnosis. So what does it mean? It means that we can diagnose our disease right at home. We don't need to go to hospital. We just use our iPhone, this simple cuff, and we take the measurement and the, the result we send to the doctor by the internet or by cell, cell phone. And the, the doctor in the hospital can give you advice immediately. But how about other diseases like HIV or malaria, tuberculosis? Can we diagnose it uh, at point of care? What is tuberculosis? Uh, tuberculosis, the uh, respiratory disease, um, with uh, some virus that go into your oh. lung and like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if we can develop a technology to de uh, to to diagnose the disease at the point of care, mm -hmm. so it would be very helpful, especially for people living in the de developing country, right? Mm -hmm. So today I'm go I'm gonna talk about it. A technology for, for that task. So that is a paper-based microfluidic device. Uh, it can use to to take the measurement at point of care, and it can help to improve the global health a lot. So my presentation. So start with the first. I am going to talk about the grand challenges in global health, and then I'm going to talk about a microfluidic device paper-based microfluid device. The last part is for question and answer section. So have you ever heard about the grand challenges in global health? Anyone here? Yeah. So in 2005, uh, Bill Melinda Gates Foundation together, together with Canadian Institute of Health Research, National, National Institute of Health and Welcome Trust, they set up a partnership so this partnership is dedicated to supporting the scientific and technical research to address the challenges of global health. And they list out 14 grand challenges which need to be addressed. And today I'm going to introduce to you the challenge 13, that is develop technology that permits quantitative assessment of population health. And the challenge 14, develop technology that allowed assessment of individual for multiple conditions or pathogen at point of care. So look at the, ch the, the challenge 14 and challenge 13, so we can see that there's an urgent need to develop a technology mm -hmm. to diagnose disease, at, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is that technology? So one of uh, promising candidates is is microfluid device. So what is microfluid device? Have you ever heard about that? So, so here is the picture of the microfluid device. So, pardon? Yeah, so picture, and you can see that there's a micro ch channel, and so that it can handle or con control the micro amount of fluid. So it has a lot of uh, advantages like uh, low, low fluid volume, faster analysis, compactness, high throughput analysis, disposal chips, and safer. Right? So one group at uh, Harvard they has a very smart idea to make the microfluid device smaller. So they use paper. So why they can use paper? Because it has a capillary action. Right? So we know that we don't need to pump or stimulate and the paper, the water can spread, fluid can spread in the paper. So mm -hmm. they make the device use paper to detect the protein or glucose. So I show you a video. So 
So this is a video about a paper-based micro grid device. So it's very simple. But look at this video, you have an idea about what is a paper-based micro grid mm -hmm. device, right? So this is uh, your sample like that, and they interact with the each other and they change the color. So look at the color, you can see that you have the, that disease or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so today I, I have just uh, talked to you three points. The first is about the challenge of global health. Second is about the microfluid device, and the third is about the, the paper-based microfluid device. So I, um, I'm happy to listen to your question and answer your question. Thank you for your attention.